microgreens are nutritious and easy to grow. In this video I'm going to show you how. Evenly distribute the peas on the tray. Gently water each pea, making sure each seed is moist. Cover with aluminium foil to keep out the light. You can see the shoots and their roots. So it's day three and I'm just getting some, like maybe a teaspoon of uh, liquid seaweed solution and I'm going to pour it into each little hole here and then it will drain down to where the water is and then I'll tip it a little bit and then the roots that you can see that are growing from the pea shoots can feed on that. They don't need very much, but they do need some food. I'll put some at both ends. And I'll just tip it so that it's equally distributed in the water tray. So the roots are still quite new and I want to put a little bit more water into the bottom tray so that the roots can reach the seaweed solution. I'll do it at each end and I'll just check. Yep, they're getting some food now. There, done. And now that the peas have shooted, is that the right word? And now the peas have sprouted, they're able to, they've got shoots coming up and roots coming down, and they're able to get some nutrients and they don't need to be sheltered from the, the light. They've already been tricked into growing and tricked into thinking that they're growing in soil or a nice dark underground environment. This is the pea microgreens and you can see where they've shot up. They're really starting to look like they're going to grow really nicely. There's a couple here that look like maybe they're not going to do anything so we'll just keep an eye on them. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's quite an extensive root system or actually quite a, an extensive set of roots that every little pea plant is developing. They've all got a root now pretty much. See, that's probably a little bit better view of both the, the roots in the seaweed solution and also the shoots above. We'll check in in two days time. It's day seven. And if I have a look up here, you can see the ex really extensive root system, but there's not very much water in it. So I'm going to add some water and also it's looking a little bit clearer, not so brown. So I'll add a little bit more seaweed solution food for the pea plants. So I'm just going to add about that much, a little teaspoon, and I'll add some on each end. the water. 
water through these little gaps. And hopefully that will help to distribute the seaweed solution. I'll just check a bit more water. Just do a little bit of tip just to make sure it's properly distributed and each little plant gets the chance to have some food. And that's day seven. So it's day nine and I'm just going to have a little look at these sprouts. Uh, key microgreens. You can see that root system just as extensive as the shoot system on top. Look at that, it's really cool. I'm going to give them a little, just a bit more water, just to make sure they've got enough to drink. Again, through those two little openings. There's another one there. Oops, I might do it like this. And just bring it closer so that you can get a good picture of what day nine looks like. I might turn them around so they can straighten up. <laughs> They're growing towards the light. So today's day 11 and the pea microgreens are ready to be harvested and you can see that's their root system. And that's the shoot system, as it were. They've got little tendrils coming along and leaves. Some of the peas haven't germinated. They haven't sprouted. You can see, and just around here, if I bring it around, there's nobody living inside. So without the presence of that little living being or that little life force, you wouldn't get all this beautiful green shoots on the pea on the pea seeds. Filled with life and filled with goodness and they're ready to harvest. All you do is just grab some scissors and cut around about there and you'd eat the top part. Remember to subscribe and if you liked this video give it the thumbs up.